Okay, so let's have a look at the manicure products. We've got the manicure soak, hand soap. This is going to go into the bowl for the client to, um, to soak her hands in so that the nails are nice and clean. We have a hygiene spray that we're going to sanitise our own hands and the client's hands with um, at the start of the treatment. You will also wash your hands to start. You've got the cuticle remover. This we're going to place around the cuticle. This helps to dissolve um, the cuticle prior to pushing, uh, pushing them back. We have the cuticle massage cream. We place this around the cuticle before we put them into the soak. We have non-acetone nail varnish remover, some dry cotton wool. The bowl for the client to soak her hands into. We have an orange stick, uh, sorry, a cuticle stick, and we're gonna tip the cuticle stick with our cotton wool by just making it wet. And then pulling the cotton wool away and that's it tips. Don't squeeze it onto the cotton wool too much, otherwise you won't be able to get it off. Okay. We've got a buffer and a nail file and just some tissue uh, to remove the cotton buds at the end. Okay, so we've washed our hands before we start. Now I'm going to zoom the video in a little bit closer into um, the hands so you can see what we're doing. So, before we start, we're going to spray our client's hands on the backs and on the fronts as well. And we ask them to rub their hands together. And you can spray your hands. It's just a sign of hygiene before we start. Be careful when you're spraying the hands hygiene spray that you're not spraying it up in case anybody has any breathing problems. So you're keeping it located to the hand area itself. Okay? You're going to check for any contraindications. That might be on the hands and when we're ready to go we're going to clean the fingertips the nails with uh, non-acetone nail varnish remover there might be nail varnish on there if there's not we're still going to go over just to make sure that the uh, nail tips are clean so you're just going to press and hold and then wipe down if there is any red varnish around there we don't want to be doing this because it will smear all over all over the fingertips. But if you use this technique where you're pressing and holding and pushing up and bringing down, that should be enough. Give it a little wiggle if it's really on there. Stuck on there, maybe it's a dark colour, like a black or a red, and then bring it down. Okay, and you'll do all of those. Pop your rubbish straight into the bin. Okay, so now I'm going to file. With your file, you're going to use the fine side. And we're going to do a sweeping motion from side to centre, from side to centre. No sawing. We're not going to saw because the nail layers are made up of three layers. And if you saw, you're going to split those layers. Then when the hand goes into the soak, it's going to split those layers. The um, water will absorb into the layers and split them. So, using the fine side, we're going to side to centre. Let the file do the work. Side to centre. You don't need to press hard. Your elbow should be out and it should be like a swinging, sweeping motion. Don't hold it at the end and do little movements like this. You want a nice sweeping side to centre. Okay. Side. Can you see the file is angled slightly? It's not totally upright, it's not totally flat, it's angled slightly. And I'm holding the hand between my thumb and my finger, and side to centre. And you're looking at the moment just to have a nice, even length to each of the fingernails. So you can see here with this client, this fingernail is longer than the others. So I would take that down. so that it matches the others, so that they're all even. This is particularly um, 
prominent when you are doing a French, just relax a minute, that's it. When you're doing a French varnish, because if you have one fingernail that's longer than the others, it will really show up. So for demonstration today, that will be enough, but I will even those out, okay? And lastly, with the thumb. Just relax with me. We'll talk about shapes at a later stage. For now, just a nice sweeping movement, just to even do it nice and slow, as you can see. Side to centre, side to centre, no sawing. Okay. Once you've shaped them, we're going to put the cuticle massage cream on, and this is going to help to soften the cuticle area. So, about this amount, and place this around the fingertips. Okay. And we're going to distribute that evenly. This is where your tissue comes in handy. Pull that off. Using your finger and your thumb, I'm just going to distribute that evenly around the cuticle area, around the bottom of the finger as well. That's going to make all the skin nice and soft and all of this cuticle area around here much easier for you to remove once it's come out of the soak. Also, the massage is a bit stimulating, so you're helping to stimulate the growth as well. It's going to bring fresh oxygen and nutrients to the area. Okay, when that's all massaged in, you can ask the client to place her hand into the soak. Okay, whilst that hand is soaking, you would go ahead and do exactly the same on this hand. So, you would use the non-acetone nail varnish remover to take off the varnish. Then you would use your file on the fine side to file and shape each of the nails. Then you would use your cuticle massage cream. Place that on each of the fingertips and give it a nice massage. That will then be ready to place in the soak as well. So if we just fold back our towel and we take the dryer and we pop her into the towel and then we transfer the water over to the other side for her to place in there. I'll just move that away for the video purpose. So your client will be then seated here with her hand in the soak. Okay, so I'm going to dry this finger off, this hand off. I'm going to put my finger and my thumb under each, each one and just, as I'm drying it, just push back. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then that's going to start my process of pushing back the skin around the nail. So it's doing a little bit of my job for me. This is a good tip for your clients to be doing whilst they're at home. Maybe when they get out of the bath, they can do this and it will help to keep the um, skin pushed back and nice and neat. So, now onto our cuticle remover. This is quite runny, so you're just going to take a little bit onto your cotton ball and press that around the edge of the cuticles. Okay, and the other hand will still be soaking, so we're concentrating on one hand at a time. Okay, so the next tool that we're going to use is the rubber ended hoof stick. Okay, it's nice and soft, so it's not going to put too much pressure around the cuticle. And we're trying to shape the cuticle so that they're nice and even, so when we come to varnishing later, you've got a nice even base to work with. So Holding it like you're about to use a pen and gently using circular movements to work around the cuticle. Okay, and gently pushing that back. Because the cuticles have been in soak, they are uh, easier to push back. You wouldn't push back the cuticles or work on the nail unless it has been soaking before because it would be painful, it's uncomfortable. So gently working around. If your client's got lots of cuticle, they may need more than one manicure. You might not be able to remove it all in the one cut. And then the next one, the next one. 
And then the next tool that you're going to be using is the cuticle knife. Okay, it's sharp and pointy on one end, and you can see that there's a blade, and that blade is double sided. Okay, if you have a little bit of cotton wool in your hand, you can wipe the use the skin that you're going to be removing onto this cotton ball here okay the cuticle knife must be used wet so you need to wet it with water not wet it with barbicide it must be wet with your water from your from your bowl okay so if we leave it there you can see i'm wetting that from water not with barbicide and you're going to use it flat so i don't want to see it upright digging in like this or like this scraping along the top of the nail plate because you will scratch the nail plate, it's going to be flat and it's small circular movements. Small circular movements. Get all the way down to the end. Flip. Small circular movements. Okay, and you can place that onto that piece of cotton wool. Small circular movements, small circular movements. Okay, let's do the next one. So again, can you see it's flat? It's not sticking up, it's flat. Small circular movements. And I'm holding it like I'm about to wipe with it, but it's not all the way up my fingers. It's slightly pushed down, okay? My little finger is rested as, as support. And I'm holding it between my thumb and my finger. Small circular movement, so you can see the cuticle coming away there. Okay, small circular movements, scraping inwards. And I'll do one more so you can see. Small circular movements. And it must be used wet. Small circular movements. Okay, you can see all that cuticle on there. Okay, and lastly, the metal tool that you're going to use is the cuticle nippers. Now, these are usually mainly used, I would say, on the pedicures. Sometimes you have to use them on the manicures, but not as much. They're really good at getting if they if the client's got any hangnails, it's really good at getting those. I would say that here we don't need to use it, and here, no, but this one has a little bit more cuticle, so we're just going to nip at that. We don't want to nip away at live cuticle, we don't want to nip away at anything that's still stuck to the skin. We're going to go in, we're going to squeeze, we're going to release, and then we're going to come away. We're not going to go in, squeeze and pull while they're still closed. That's when you get rips of skin. You can either hold them flat in your hand with the thumb on top or you can hold them like this. It's entirely up to you how you feel comfortable. So there's a little bit of skin there, it's going to go in, I'm going to knit, I'm going to release and come away. We don't want to be cutting away too much of the cuticle because it just grows back quicker. Release and come away. And that's made that just a little bit neater there. Okay, and that's the last tool for this section.